How's it going? What's going on, everybody? It's your boy. So, I know some of y'all are probably wondering, like, where have you been? All this other stuff. Uh, I don't know if you can hear the fan in the video. If so, I do have a fan that's kind of blowing over right now. So, if you can hear it, I'm sorry in advance. I'll, like I said, a lot of stuff going on, changing up a lot of things. Right now, I'm actually uh, recording off of uh, my webcam. So, like I said, it's a totally, totally different setup. Um, Kind of get to that, kind of give you guys just a little rundown of uh, a lot of what's been going on and kind of, where, again, where I've been, been, but not really. So if you guys do remember, I did do uh, two videos several weeks back, uh, Married to Medicine, Real Housewives, where I did say that, um, you know, I was back and um, more or less that for the very next week, I may or may not do videos due to the fact that uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon were coming out, which they were, and they did come out, and that I will be doing live streaming, well, not live streaming, but um, recording on the other channel and a whole lot of things. So there was a chance that either A, y'all wouldn't get the videos, or for that next week, or B, they would be offset. Y'all didn't get those videos, and y'all didn't get several after. I had been uh, doing videos, but um, it was like a culmination of things that had happened. One thing being that the uh, the uh, three well new 3ds that I had gotten, um, like I said my workstation. It was so much going on. I was doing so much, and the uh, USB cord was actually hanging from the desk, and. You know, sometimes I'm in such a rush that I move so fast and that actually happened and my foot got caught in it and it hit the ground and literally everything went haywire. And the reason that it's like that is if it was a regular DS, it wouldn't be an issue. But because it's a DS that has uh, got tricked out and has a uh, capture card in it, of course, it's a little bit more fragile, and I've been trying to work with it. It has not gotten any better, so I now have to send that back to uh, China to get fixed, and I'm hoping that it does because I transferred everything from a uh, older DS to that one, and decided, you know, to, you know, kind of do the good Samaritan thing, if we will, and donate that other DS to someone else, which I did do so. You know, again, no taxi backsies. And I'm not saying that to kind of get, you know, any praises or whatever. But, you know, like I said, now I'm down to just like one DS and then I have that other one. And so pretty much I have to uh, go back on the website, figure out everything. And I pretty much have to send it back and literally hope and pray that they can fix it. And the main reason that I'm doing that is for anybody that has a, a Nintendo DS or anything from that family. If you transfer things from one system to another, that's the system that it is on. So because it's on that system, there's no way that I can move it to another system without having that one up and running. So, And I was so upset because I had, like, on that particular game, got through the first island of Sun and Moon, and that shit tanked. And I was, that, that shit hurt me. And trying to fix it couldn't work, so I, I had to abruptly stop that series, and I actually have to do a video for that channel, kind of explaining what happened to that, and actually start doing up some other content, and I actually have tomorrow off, so that's actually a good day for me to actually start working on some other content for that channel. So that's kind of where I've been in at the same exact time. I mean, for those of y'all who know what I do for a living, y'all do understand that the demand is like high and there's been so much going on that you know my time gets taken up and working out has been a big big thing because if you guys remember if y'all have been following me last year around this time like I was going hard with the working out uh by January I had dropped over 40 pounds and this year and I'll actually kind of give you guys just this last year in the views. So, again, me being a bit transparent. But, you know, it's been a whole, whole lot. And, you know, it's like even trying to kind of like bounce back to where I once was. So, for those who don't know, for those of you who are new, I'll try to give you guys those. Um, it's kind of like walk you through what happened the last year. Um, 
to this point and you guys will kind of understand because I will say part of what has happened this year I think I've brought part of this to myself by certain acts that I've done but we'll get there so you know I lost the weight um, January came around it was between January and February that I decided to do a program called Shortcut and Shred, which is a good program. Let me say that because I'll give you the opposite side of that towards the latter part of this particular part of the story. But I jumped into that program wholeheartedly, and I should I probably shouldn't have done that because I was already doing intermittent fasting and just everything that I was doing. So I jumped into that program, and when I say I upped my I got up my cat. Uh, calories and I like drastically updated my um or increased my protein intake like I was going from a baseline of like 190 to upwards to like the two like well past 240s so I was I went from consuming like 200 and two like 2280 to well over 3000 and I'm like okay well consume all of this and they get the carbs and the fat like I had to go from doing intermittent fasting to like eating earlier in the day and that right there threw my body all the fuck out of limbo i started to pack on some more weight than what i actually wanted it was for what it's worth a shit show and then of course i believe it was february that you know like i said i got on camera when vlad was popping and you know i was intoxicated i allowed myself to say some things that for what it's worth I probably should have just went to set person and talked about how I felt rather than, you know, put it on camera. But, hey, you know what? Shit happens and it is what it is. That shit happened. And I believe that that incident kind of manifested itself later on this year, which I'll get to later on that on the year. Um, Because there's one major thing that happened. I'm not contributing to that. But it's some of what happened afterwards. So that incident happened. A whole lot of backlash. People had a whole lot of shit to say. It is what the hell it is. You know, and my whole thing is I'm not going to dwell too much on that incident. If for those of you who know, y'all know what it is. For those who don't, I'm not going to bring light to it. But, you know, again, I showed my ass <laughs> on camera. It is what it is. But it's not out of character for me. But I will say when I'm deep in my emotion and whatnot, I will pop the fuck off. It just is what the fuck it is. Did it. Wasn't one of my uh, best fucking moments, but that shit happened. And there was so much, there was backlash from that. And then there was other things that happened within a certain group that I belong to. So much was happening. And it was just like, okay, I began to distance myself a little bit. And then like the biggest blow happened to me this year. And that was, um, I, and I'm, I'm going to try to talk about this part without going too deep because I'm not trying to get emotional on camera. <laughs> I did enough of that shit last week. <laughs> We're not going to talk about it. But um, my uh, father had passed away. And again, for those who have been on this channel, rock with me for a minute, y'all know that my father and I, we've had a troubled relationship. And nothing has changed. I mean, granted, yes, my father is deceased and whatnot. But it's one of those where the truth is the truth. We've had a rocky rocky relationship but you know things happen um went home there was some things at home came back and kind of having to deal with stuff back here but even just dealing with that you know it's like i knew him so i'm not I, I could never call him a sperm or anything like that but again that's half of me you know, he's one half, my mother's my other half. It takes both of them to make the crazy fucking person that some of y'all have come to know and love. And having to deal with that, I was only home for a short period of time, which I'm actually happy for. Came back here and, you know, like I said, I, I didn't truly sit Shiva, but I did that the best that I could. Came back here trying to kind of go through the mourning process and you know i'm like okay the best thing for me to probably do is channel all of these emotions because there were so many going on so i channeled my emotions into the gym so i was already working out before then and you know i really did not like lifting weights and whatnot and i hate the gym <laughs> I hate the gym with a passion and it's not the gym per se 
but it's the fact that I don't like the atmosphere. You know, I, I like going to the gym when there's like no one there. Like I, I like going in like the down periods. This is all going to build on some, but you know, because you have some people where, and I understand that depending on what you're going for it determines rest periods. If you're going to like literally tone up, lose weight, and everything, your rest period between sets should be given it give or take between like 20 and 40 seconds. If you're trying to maintain or something like that, maybe like a minute to two minutes. If you're trying to like add muscle or whatnot, maybe two to five minutes, something like that. I get that. My thing is when I go into the gym, I'm trying to get in, get out. I know what I'm going for. And it's one thing for somebody to be sitting there on some like my thing is like I get in, I do my sets. Like, I'll do a set. The most I'll probably wait between sets is a minute. And a minute is max. I don't even like waiting that fucking long. Like, I like to get through my sets, get off of that, and let somebody else get it and move on to the next fucking thing. I don't like motherfuckers that be just sitting there waiting, flexing and shit. Or the motherfuckers that be sitting, rant, sitting there, talking to another motherfucker and shit. Wait, like, it's one of those where I hate that. <laughs> hate it. Again, like I like to get in, get out. I like to do the, you know, the high intensity interval training. You know, hit like that's what the fuck I like to do. I don't like being in the gym all that motherfucking long. You know what I'm saying? I don't. And even when the gym is empty, I still don't take my time. I get in, I get out, which is part of the reason that you guys see that I do have a bench and I have my dial up weights right there because, like, you know, there are times that I'd rather just do my shit here where I know I can do what I gotta do and just move the fuck on, whatever. But I would go to the gym with people that I worked with because it was like, I need to channel all these different feelings. Because I did do a video about, you know, the morning process, what I was going through. That video is still up. Um, I just had to find a way to just channel this energy. I felt that was the best way. So that's what I did. And, you know, kind of like working through that. And this is when I'm just going to just be transparent as much as I possibly can because people that I work with have found my YouTube channel so I can't keep it all the way 1000 with y'all because you know hey we all know how people lie so you somebody hits some shit you know they want to you know use it against you run back to it the whole motherfucking night but um I well actually when I was still in Chicago I um had gotten messages from people who just like congratulations all this other shit and it was like Oh, on your promotion, I'm just like, motherfucker, what? <laughs> like, I, because I'm sitting here thinking, like, this is not the time for anybody to be playing a cool fucking joke right now. And then I did my research and I actually found out that, you know, I actually, you know, had gotten promoted. So I'm just like, all right, cool. This is, this is that, sh this, this is some good shit. So, my boss actually calls me and, you know, further, you know, uh, solidifies that. But it was one of those where it might be up in the air. So I did some research and I did realize that uh, based on how much time I had left, um, I didn't have enough time to actually get that particular position. So I had to pretty much add another contract on. And I'm like, OK, that's what I have to do. I did my research. I was like, okay. So it was like, okay, let me weigh my options. What do I do? And before all of this happened, you know, they even hit me with, oh, you know, Germany is available. And I had to look up to, you know, God, I'm just like, really? I've been trying to go to Germany for, at this point, the past eight years. Germany had not been available. And at the time that I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm going to start the brand new chapter of my life. Germany becomes available. I'm just like, are you serious? But even then, I, I didn't buckle. But I'm just like, okay, you know what? Maybe, and it wasn't, but maybe this is a sign. You know, I said, you know, that next position is available. Upon me, you know, sign another contract. Germany is also available as long as I don't get in no fucking trouble, keep your fingers crossed that I got to make it, you know, some more months and I'll be in the clear. But I'm just like, okay. But the main thing was I did not. And it was like, I didn't know how much time I had, but I know I had a short window. And for me, it was just like, I did not want to uh, make a decision like solely based on emotion and 
that scared me because it's just like I know this window is small. I don't have a lot of time to react. And for all my spiritual people out there, we just, you know, hey, we just gonna call it warfare. We're gonna call it what it is, you know. Shameless promotion, shameless promotion. I mean, I don't really eat at Burger King all that much, but I like the cup, it's a big ass cup, you know, whatever. But um, I sat down. I, I weighed my options. I spoke to um some other YouTubers that um I talked to. Well, at the time, I talked to quite frequently, and I'll get to that part because I don't want anybody to really freak out or kind of put twenty on ten because it's not really that. But I decided to go ahead and do it. So did that in July. So my father passed away in May. I found out in May that everything was considered in uh, June. Signed my new contract in July and then found out a week later that I had to sign another contract in the month of June. So because I did not sign it in, July, in June and sign it in July, that I had to be taken off of that list and go through the process all over again. I was so, so frustrated, and that shit hit me hard, because I'm just like, I made a life decision somewhat under false pretenses, and now it kind of blows up in my face, so I'm just like, okay, it is what, it, and at this point is when I'm, I kind of feel that some, like, that one bird, that one out on uh, social media outburst, I feel that I kind of paid for it at this particular point. And the reason I say that before I go any further is, you know, in Judaism, like I said, we really don't believe that there is such a thing as heaven as and a hell. We do believe that there is a world to come, you know, solidified facts or whatever. And I've said to, you know, God, you know, whatever I do, whatever sins that I uh, commit, I want to pay for them here. Because if there is a world to come, I don't want to pay it for it on the other side. Because if heaven and hell actually does exist, and, you know, I haven't paid for everything, and now I get to the other side, and it's like, there's still something holding me down, I don't even want, I don't even want that to be a consideration. So I'll pay for it here. So I do feel that, you know, a lot of, from what that one outburst, I do realize that there was so much involved in that many different lives involved and whatnot so I mean it is what it is so I feel I felt kind of like this was the start of it but I was just like I'll fucking stand it so another four years and kind of no way to come back from that it is what it is so I took an oath I'm gonna write that shit out so kind of dealing with that and then all of a sudden my health starts to uh, take a fucking hit you know, so father passes away in May, mid June. I start to, you know, get a cough and everything. Again, some of this is, uh, you know, in other videos, so y'all can go back and check those out or whatnot. But um, it's at this point that you know it's starting to hit me, and it's going from a casual cough to like that shit being heavy. And you know, again, I, I'm a I'm a man. You know, we as dudes for all the dudes watching. We don't like to sit here and admit that we sick. We under the weather. Shit's going on. We like to tough it the fuck out. I got to a point where I could not tough it the fuck out. So I go into the clinic, and you know, of course, we start from the uh, lowest possible um, solution and work our way up. And they start to see, okay, so the little shit that we're doing is not working. You know, even though it's like y'all can see that there are issues. Get an x-ray done. Of course, the x-ray is not going to show what the fuck is there, which it showed something, but not enough for a determination. And I had to wait for a CT scan. I had to fucking wait. Finally do the CT scan. Based off the CT scan, you have pneumonia, which I'm, I was happy that was all that it was <laughs> because I had one person I worked with speaking hands over me, and I'm like, oh, hell to the no. I I, I refuse to accept cancer. 
fucking review. I, I will take just about every motherfucking thing else. Just about. I ain't taking cancer. I, I'm not doing it. I, I know what cancer does. I had a cousin. Um, uh, all right. I had a cousin. I, I have to kind of, like, certain shit, like, I have to kind of catch myself. I don't want to go too deep and, you know, break down on camera shit. But I do have a cousin that passed away from cancer. And it wasn't just that. Long story short, she had breast cancer. She decided to uh, cut off both her breasts. And, you know, we thought that uh, we won. It came back more aggressive, hit her bone, liver, and spine. And we lost her uh, after that. <clears throat> and then I want to say, I think it was like a year and a half, two years ago, uh, one of my aunts on my father's side had gotten cancer. And it had gotten so, like, it really, really got bad to the point where she requested that they uh, pull the plug on her. So, ah, uh, yeah, cancer. <laughs> Fuck cancer. But with that being said, I'm like, I don't want it. I, I, I do not want it. I, I didn't accept it. I didn't claim it. None of that. Because, again, I'm, I'm, I wasn't even going to sit here and call that to myself. I was not going to do it. Because I know what that can do to you. And even if it did, even if it did, I ain't called, but I'm saying even if it did, I know that my spirit is strong enough to where I could fight it, but again, I don't even want to put myself through that. But found out that it was pneumonia, and I was so happy. I'm like, okay, we can work with this. And I had posted that I was going through on Facebook, and I normally don't post my my life like that. I It's certain things about my life that I don't put out there. And it's because, one, I don't need everybody in my business, but I don't want, I, I don't want pity. Not simply, I don't want pity. I don't want pity. But it was just that, well, I just need everybody to pray. <laughs> like, I'm just like, I don't care what daddy you believe in, just pray for a brother. Pneumonia, okay, we can work with that. So, uh, I, I was put on some I said, like, okay, good, we're good, we're gonna move on, the whole fucking nine. And, you know, I'm in the gym, you know, doing my little thug this and whatnot. And, you know, I'm starting to see, okay, showing us a breath, but everything was okay. Go, you know, get back to my room and everything. And, you know, and of course, the uh, antibiotic was kind of forcing me to cough everything up. And, whoo, that one night, pop. Felt and heard a pop. It was on this side, left side. So, I want to say it was... Like right here, that rib popped, and that was a pain that I have never fucking felt before. And pretty much went to the ER, and they told me that based off the X-ray, it was it was possibly me a muscle popping, which that shit did not sound right. But they gave me some um, Percocets for that low dosage and I have a high pain tolerance so that shit a new shit for me and it was weird because every time I would bend because it was like you have to like block and brace so every time I would bend over the cough every time I bend over I would feel a shift so I felt that fucking rib piece moving so I'm like he says it's a fucking you know muscle it don't feel like that but I kind of moved through it and I want to say that whole week was fucking painful especially going back to that shit was but I go back to work, kind of, you know, try my best to tough it out. And that was one of those where everybody could see that I was in pain. And for a motherfucker like me, I don't want to be vulnerable. I hate being vulnerable. Because it's one of those places it's like, if you see that, because again, you know, being vulnerable, like I'm like, I'm opening myself up. I'm at my weakest. And normally, you know, when I'm at work, I can tough it out. It's one of those where you can see that I'm in pain. I can't, I can't hide that. So that 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 should hurt my pride like fucking hard. But um, toughing through it, you know, everything is somewhat healing up nicely. I try to get back into working out, but you know, I can see that this shit was still hurting. And then all of a sudden, you know, I go to sleep, and I had noticed that I would wake up in between like one and three to have to cough, and. One night, woke up, had to cough up some shit, pop, right side. Went to the yard again. <laughs> this time, they put me on Tylenol. I think it was Tylenol 3. Um, and somewhere in, in this story, because so much shit happened, because I was, 
I was on three different pain meds at three different times, three different fucking antibiotics and most other shit. So I can't really, at this point, I can't keep fucking track of the fucking timeline. But y'all watch the other videos if y'all feel so inclined. I, it's better there. Like I said, I don't have the shit written down, whatever. But that happens. So I'm just like, okay. Shit hurts, so I'm down again. Try to make a comeback, doing my little thug this and whatnot. In the process, I noticed that I'm having difficulties breathing. And this was a sign that I probably should have uh, went in earlier, but I didn't. Certain people had seen me at work, and I would have to, like, sit down and like, catch myself. I have my fucking albuterol hair, like, literally, like, huffing the fuck on that. And people look at me like, are you okay? I'm not, but, like, I'm, I'm making through. I had one night that I woke up, and it happened a few times, and, and I coughed, and I, I couldn't catch my breath. And I, I just sat there. I had my regular albuterol inhaler. I actually think I have it. Yeah, I do have it. Don't, don't worry about my drawer. Don't worry about my drawer. But I had uh, this. It's a, let me see if I can get up here. It's a uh, Comba Vent uh, inhaler that I don't use anymore. I don't even know. Trash. I don't even know why the fuck I still have it. It's trash now. But I had that inhaler. And that is a um, more like um trying to figure out how to say it. That's more of a long term, if you will, like the... Uh, um, albuterol hair is a rescue inhaler, which is like right then, right there. That is more or less that after a while of taking it, it's like a slow release that kind of helps. Well, that night it kind of didn't. I, I hopped in the shower, cold shower, much some other things. I guess that probably worked or whatever, but I was able to like calm down and go to sleep. But that's not the first time I had one of those type of attacks. And, you know, continue on, it happened again. So I woke up and I had to cough and I'm trying to stabilize, trying to stabilize, it's not working. So I take the albuterol, which is the uh, rescue inhaler, and that didn't work. So I take the, uh, the um, ser if I say Comavin, that's not Comavin, that's a cerebin discus. That's what that one was. But I try to take that one. That one didn't work, which it didn't dawn on me in the moment, like, duh that's long term but still I was just like so fucking paranoid just trying to do everything I could and then it just dawned on me like bruh you need to go to the fucking hospital so all the other times where with the other two broken ribs I drove to the fucking hospital which again that was fucking crazy all in itself um, this time I attempted to and as soon as I walked out of the main door of my building, my buyer was just like, you are a dumbass. Like, you need to have somebody else call the ambulance. So I had people at the front desk of my building call, and, like, I am, like, sweating profusely, everything else. I can hardly fucking breathe. So the first responders, who happened to be the uh, firefighters, came, gave me oxygen and whatnot. The ambulance get there, yeah, 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 blah, 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 for the story. I'm at the hospital. They uh, began to, let me see, they check my artery uh, uh, to check my uh, CO levels. And they're only supposed to do it twice, but they actually did it three times. Twice in uh, my left uh, wrist, once over here. And the reason that was done three times instead of two is because the gentleman did it in both wrists. He couldn't get it. And then a female came in. I guess she's more experienced than she was actually able to get it out of here. And I hate needles and whatnot. And by far, them going into my artery, that shit was painful. But they were able to tell from that test that my fucking oxygen levels were fucking low, uh, which kind of was obvious. Um, they had me on oxygen, albuterol and everything. I finally come down. They gave me an on-the-spot x-ray, and they uh, did another CT scan, which I was due one within a week, but they did one right then. And they uh, pretty much had determined based off what brought me into the hospital and what they saw in the CT scan from the whole pneumonia. Because I guess based off the first one and this one, shit had gotten worse. So they decided to admit me. So I was admitted to the hospital. Um, and one of the nurses, she was just like, you know, I've been in here for a little bit based off of seeing you. 
whatever you have is probably not pneumonia, but it's probably like some type of allergic asthma. It is what it is. Got released. I have been put on a steroid. I was on the, again, if y'all want to know the deep, 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 we get other videos way, way back. But um, got released. Then I'm working through it. Um, and let me see. I, I think at that point I was put on Comavit, which is like a mixture of like an albuterol, which is regular hater. Uh, it's like albuterol and like the seven discus, kind of combined or whatever. Kind of on that, you know, kind of toughing it through. And every chance that I kind of got to like get back to working out, I was trying to get back to it because it's like, oh my gosh, I'm starting to lose. And it was one of those where all of the weight that I had lost at the beginning of this year, I'm starting to put that shit back on. That shit was starting to hit me hard, like really, really fucking hard. So I'm kind of working through that. And rib number three factors. And it's crazy because I think it, it was either Labor Day or Veteran. No, it wasn't Veteran's Day. And I think the holiday before Veteran's Day was Labor Day. I think it was Labor Day. I came back to work and I told, you know, uh, my boss was just like, you should be lucky because with the other rib fractures, more or less mine is the first one, but with the other one, it was like that area, so it was like right here, got real tender before the uh, pop and like right here, well, so it was more like right here was real tender and every time I would cough, I would feel it, so it was like you know, be happy that, you know, I didn't go to the ER and I had just ran a urinalysis. That morning, no shit, less than an hour later, talking to, you know, one of my, you know, subordinates. And I go to cough and I heard a pop. And I'm like, the pop habit. And I lean on and I'm like, trying to be just like, I know damn well. <laughs> Not the fuck again. And I have to another fucking rib. Go back to the ER deal with that my uh, pulmonology well the pulmonology was just like bro you need to take two weeks to convalesce and leave did a video about that i had so many people sitting here telling me bro if you don't lay your ass the fuck down take this motherfucking leave <laughs> but i took that to heal up and everything um and just kind of deal with everything eventually kind of healed up from that and actually I'm trying to make sure I'm trying to get the general timeline right. I want to say maybe around August, because this was all kind of happening. Um, one of my supervisors, this is good, I have many, was like, why don't you go to the board to go ahead and get promoted rather than wait? And foolishly, I do that. So I go with not that much time to fucking study. And did not do well, got a no-go. So because I got a no-go, I have to wait three months to be reconsidered. And the fucked up thing is had I not done that, I would have got picked up again at the end of that fucking month. So now I am, like, again, like, down in the fucking dumps and everything. So all of this shit has happened. And I want to say this was... September. I want to say this was probably, like, early October... Um, it was at this point that I got fucking depressed. I, I was out of it. I, I'm not even gonna lie. So, of course, I wasn't on YouTube for a hot minute, but, um, that is because, um, I had did, I think, like, the last video I did before the last two that I put out, you know, I had said in that video, it was a Love and Hip Hop video, that I want to try to get through this because I felt as if I wasn't going to cough because I couldn't time the coughs and I didn't want to cough on camera and, you know, I even say, it's like, for those who think that I might be doing this because, oh, I'm going to get, you know, this YouTube check or whatnot. First and foremost, this YouTube check is not compared to what the fuck I get paid on the regular. Let me say that. But if I cared, I would have been recording myself on video, going back, cutting out all of the times that I caught, splice that shit together and upload it. If I really cared, I didn't do that. That was too much fucking work. But... That was one of the last videos I had done up until that point because I could not, um, like, calculate the cough and everything. And what really got me, you know, depressed was it's like I had three vices. 
all three was snatched from me. You know, one vice being, you know, doing YouTube videos. Even if I'm not talking about my life, I can channel my emotions into whatever video I'm doing, whether it be a review or whatever. Like, I can channel my shit into that. Can't do that. So that's one vice gone. You know, like I said, I do sing. You know, I don't sing on here, but, you know, I do sing. I'm a baritone that has a bass register and I can hit certain tenor notes. Because this shit had impacted, you know, my fucking, you know, lungs and everything, you know, in terms of how much air I can breathe in, you know, my shit raspy, all the fucking coughing, and got to a point that I was coughing up fucking blood, you know, I couldn't sing, so vice number two, gone, and then working out was how I kind of got through dealing with my father passing away, why well, I can't work out because I have fucking fractured ribs and all this other shit, so all three of my vices are gone. Like, I was, I was fucking depressed, like, out of it. And even dealing, you know, and no one knew because it's one of those where even though I wear a lot of my emotions on my sleeves, it's certain emotions that, or certain shit that I go through, if I don't want you to know, you won't fucking know. No one knew that I was depressed. And when I finally talked about it, people were just like, oh, I didn't know you were depressed because I didn't want you to fucking know. The only reason you know now is because I feel like, telling you but other than that it was just like you know what I'm saying that whole fucking thing and even dealing with that and again the whole promotion thing and I'm trying to explain to people like y'all want me to try to sit here and go back to this fucking board I'm not in the best mental state so if I can't sit here and get my mental right I ain't got time to be sitting here looking at fucking questions trying to memorize questions and regurgitate that shit that's just too fucking merch can't fucking do it can't fucking do it. There was even moments that I had gotten very fucking unprofessional at the fuck work and y'all real popped the fuck out at where I was just like, oh lord. Like, I was just like, well, <laughs> this is probably it. So, when I say that some of what has come this year, outside of my father passing away, some of the shit that I went through, I feel that I call that to myself just by, you know, some of the shit that I had done, you know, and it is what it is. You know, shit happens. And I'm never going to say complain about it. And I take everything in stride for what it's worth. So, but that shit happened. Like, that depression was, you know, fucking hard. And it was one of those where even having to open up and admit that, that shit was fucking rough. And even, like, dealing with the doctors, I'm like, I'm like I know what I need to get better. Because it was all this coughing. All I need was fucking uh, steroids. I forget what steroid it was again. If y'all watch some videos, y'all will hear me fucking talk about it. But one doctor wouldn't give it to him because he's like, you're already seeing a specialist, which is a pulmonologist. And, you know, I don't want to give you anything that's going to kind of contradict what they're doing. I literally had a fucking coughing fit where I had to go into the ER again. They took me to acute medicine. They checked my brain. They was like, it seems as if every time you're on medication, you're okay. And I'm looking at them like, duh. I didn't do that because, again, you know, people trying to be nice to me. They put me on a steroid, the same one that I had been on. Cleared me the fuck up. And I had went to see pulmonology later on that week. And they, and uh, my doc, he had put me on um, a inhaler that has a steroid in it, which I'm pretty sure I've showed you guys in a uh, previous video. If I can kind of show you guys right now. There it is, Advair. So this is actually what I've been taking. So um, two puffs um, in the morning with my spacer. Uh, two puffs in the, uh, so in the morning, first one I wake up, two puffs in the evening. And this is like a regular inhaler. If I'm not mistaken, I think it has that butyrol in it. But it also has a steroid in it, which kind of keeps everything controlled, which has, <laughs> oh my gosh, this shit has helped. And, you know, so working with that, I'm trying to get my timeline right. Um, I had a uh, profile which has restricted me from working out or whatnot. And with, oh, okay, so let me see. I'm like, what's this group two? So, and, you know, if, give me a second. I'm going to sit here and pull up my damn calendar. You know, at least with this, I can give you guys an accurate date. So, right here. Two, one, so six, five, four, three, two. So around October 24th ish, so it was either the 17th or 24th, 
I did a shortcut to shred again. And this time it was minus the nutrition. It was just going back into the gym, trying to get my strength back up. And I had noticed, like, damn, like, all of the progress that I had made before then, that shit was gone. Y'all know chap lips ain't sexy. But that shit was gone. And I had started to, like, get some of that strength back. Now, I have it back. And I pretty much went in, like, three weeks ago, I think it was, canceled my profile. And if you guys remember, I did a video that I was talking about, um, you know, just being concerned because, you know, my weight had come back and not being able to work out, you know, again, the weight has come back, a whole lot of other shit. I didn't talk about it, but that was the depression. So if any of y'all picked up on it, kudos to you guys. Um, and just so much stuff and knowing that I had a, a PT test coming up, which with everything that has been going on and still trying to get promoted, even though it was once in my hands and I lost it twice this year already. The last thing that I need to do is either be, you know, like fail a fucking tape test or fail a PT test. Last, well, one, if I fail a tape test, like my career right now is done. Fail a fucking PT test, I mean, flags and all sorts of shit. Don't really fucking need it. Came off of that. Um, well, I took a PT test. Of, what was it? Was it December 5th or was it the 6th? No, it was actually the seventh. Liar. Took it on the seventh. Yeah, damn, that was last Wednesday. Ah, I'm fucking tripping. I'm tripping. So took it on the seventh and barely passed. Barely. But you know, I went out there, did what I had to do. So those six weeks of me being in the gym actually paid off. You know, like I've been in the gym doing my damn thing, trying to get back to where the fuck I've been. Like. This shit has been a fucking battle, you know, to say the least. But I will say that, you know, I will be back doing videos because I had done those videos for the other channel and whatnot. And even when I did the Real Housewives to Real Housewives of Atlanta and Married to Medicine, my voice and everything is still back. It's just that I was trying to put more time into the other channel because I had neglected it for so long. So right now, it's just going to be me trying to find the balance between the two. And again, for those of y'all who rock with me, y'all know shit happens. I can let y'all know right now between now and May, I'm going to be here. I'm going to be in and out due to things that happen, shit that comes up. Again, I have a job, uh, unlike others, where I'll be going for days and weeks at a fucking time. But y'all know that when I come back, I'm going to give y'all everything that happened before. So as of right now, you guys let me know if y'all want me to go back and give y'all, like, because I, I can pick up starting where we at right now. Thursday, I can pick up tomorrow with Mary to Medicine, uh, Atlanta, and just go from there. So do that. Do the Real Housewives of Atlanta and uh, Love Hip Hop New York. I can start there. Or if y'all want me to go back and, like, give y'all uh, episodes two through whatever of Mary to Medicine, Real Housewives, and episodes one through, I think, we're probably at five of Love Hip Hop New York that I do have in my DVR. If y'all want me to do that, let me know. I, I will do it. Like I said, because um, I have tomorrow off. So this video will be up tonight. I have tomorrow off. I'm still getting back in the motherfucking gym and shit. I'll talk to you guys more about uh, the workout plan that I'm on now. It's actually a self created workout plan uh, that this shit is challenging as fuck. Like, I don't know what the fuck I was smoking when I, I don't smoke anymore. But when I put this damn plan together, like, this shit is kicking my ass. But, you know, I'm actually starting to uh, see a lot of progress uh, in it and whatnot. So, I am back. <laughs> um, like I said, I'm going to do my best to work on uh, juggling both channels. More or less what I'm going to do probably tomorrow is uh, start up a, uh, just follow me here, but another slot for the other channel probably try to knock out enough footage for like four or five episodes and just like kind of have those released over the next couple of weeks so do like one video a week for the other channel and slowly work on that but still try to put out content over here but I don't want to overload myself and I don't want to um, uh, I don't want to take on too much knowing that 
there are other things coming up in the upcoming months, um, like February, March, and I believe May are going to be rough months for me where I may not necessarily be here. Um, and I also kind of get used to this where um, I, th I do have two um, setups. So like my uh, MacBook Pro is literally like right here. I'm touching it, but it's hooked up to my TV right here. And uh, I have a custom built uh, PC, which is meant for gaming and a lot of editing and whatnot, which is going to be done right here. I won't be doing green screen for a while, but I have that. I have, you know, touching it right now is uh, my um, webcam. Ooh, okay, had to refocus. Have that without my TV right here that I'm touching. Y'all can't really see it, but I'm touching it. Um, so, like, I have both of my workstations to where I can do multiple things in for the uh, reviews. Of course, having my MacBook and my uh, cable hooked to this TV right here. Of course, I can sit here and go back to doing my reviews where they show whatever. I can come right here and talk to you guys, edit it, splice it, do all that good stuff. So, I will be back, like, again, starting tomorrow. And another reason that I had also been absent is, um, I have been doing my workouts first thing in the morning, so my first, um, you know, hit time in the morning is 6.30, but I will be in the gym at 5, because, you know, we do PT as a group at 6.30, so I would be in the gym at 5, doing my workout between 5 and 6, and between 6 and 6.30 is enough time for me to change out the clothes that I'm in, put on, you know, work, you know, workout clothes, and be ready to work out again, so to be at the gym at five i would have to wake up at four <laughs> and to try to get those eight hours of sleep i would have to at the latest be in the bed today and sometimes that didn't happen so the chances of y'all getting reviews was slim to none because I, I have to sleep because for those of you who know in order for your body to really repair and do everything you need that sleep so that's why y'all hadn't got videos and all that good jazz but for what it's worth i'm back i'm going to do my best to um give you guys content between the two channels for those of you who had um, been thinking about me been praying for me I, I truly mean from the deepest parts of my heart and my soul thank you um, like I said I mean I'm a praying fool over here I've been praying for others for those who have YouTube channels and whatnot if y'all have y'all Twitter's open like I watch the videos I like the videos if something sticks out I come I don't always comment but if you check Twitter, you will see that I'll be liking the videos. If y'all go to my channel, look at under playlists and likes, you will see that. I watch my videos. I support each one of those where I couldn't really just be here. And at the same exact time, when it came to work and whatnot, I didn't want to sit here and take on other stuff knowing that mentally I wasn't in the right place. And I didn't want to come on camera knowing that mentally I wasn't in the right place either. Because one thing about me, and I think many of you know, I don't come on here trying to milk my life. I, I don't do that. I don't come on here trying to gain the fucking sympathy vote. You know what I'm saying? I, I have definitely gone through this year. Yes, I had three fractured fucking ribs. I could have eased. And this is and this right here is no shit on any fucking body. Because so, I don't even want nobody to even come at me with the bullshit. But I could easily have been in the fucking, you know, ER. Oh my gosh, I'm back here again, post shit on motherfucking YouTube and whatnot. Oh, I'm gonna convalesce and leave. Oh my god, this shit is rough. Post shit on YouTube again, doing videos, splicing to take out the coffin and shit. Oh my gosh, I'm so fucking depressed. Boo hoo hoo, watch me crown camera. Like all these different things. Like I could have done that. But it's one of those where that's not why I'm here. I share my life with you guys, but I'm not here to put my life on display because I want you know, views and clicks and comments. I'm not that dude. You feel what I'm saying? And one thing that I've tried to do a lot is from that one outburst that I did earlier this year, I will say that I have done quite a bit of work on myself and a lot of growing because I have seen some very nasty comments and other shit that people had to say about me. And I've done my best to just, you know, let it slide off my back. You know what I'm saying? Like, even when I talked about the whole PT thing, you know, if this if that person watching this video, so here is your shine. But one person like typed us some shit like boohoo or some shit like that, where it's just like you don't understand the mental and everything. But at the same exact time, I don't expect everybody to care 
Not everybody can sit here and be transparent on camera and at the same exact time, you know, I mean, the fact that you watch the video and type, you know what, you watched it, you gave me a view, it is what it is. I'm going to drive the fuck on and do what the fuck it is that I got to do. But for those who are here for me, y'all watched it, y'all understood where I was coming from, y'all got what it is that um, I was trying to accomplish with that video. <sighs> but, I mean, that's pretty much it. And also, even with me uploading videos, that one ear visit to where I couldn't breathe, I joked about this a lot when I was at work. The reality is I actually could have died that night. <laughs> I try to keep lighthearted about a lot of shit. And even with that, I still try to laugh that off. But yeah, that night I really could have died. Because I mean, really imagine not being able to breathe and everything. And, and, the, and one thing that I do want to mention, I mean, I think it's kind of obvious with, you know, talking about inhalers and everything. But just recently, like two weeks ago, I was actually diagnosed with asthma. So I have mild intermittent asthma is what I have. And they actually did this test where, you know, um, I would uh, pretty much have to like uh, suck in almost like with this. They had like six different uh, vials and I would have to suck it in, kind of wait a second, let it work its way in here. And I would have to like blow into, I forget what the fucking test is. And I actually have another one that I have to do in like a couple of weeks. But like, blow into it and they would base that off of like my lung capacity and whatnot if that shit even took and by the fifth vial my uh lungs had uh, actually and even before i blew into it because the lady was asking me like are you feeling it? i'm like no by that fifth one i felt it and what she said is had i reacted off the first vial i would have had severe asthma because i reacted on the fifth vial so five out of six it was mild intermittent had I made it to the six, it would still be mild. And had I not reacted to the six one, I would not have asthma. So a lot of the breathing issues that I have had, amongst other things, has been asthma. So let me put that out there. For those of you who have been watching, but I have been talking long enough. That is uh, my update of uh, what has been going on with me. I think I'll end this video off with, um, like I guess I could say, the uh, year review. I posted quite a bit about um, what has happened this year um, when it comes to, you know, my YouTube, you know, family that I keep. But here's the thing. The people that I fucks with, you know, and I'll, I said, I'll say their names, you know, I said, even though a lot of them don't fuck with each other, I still, I said, I still fuck with Tiki, 44. I still fuck with James Colwell. still fuck with Spooky Jones. Still fucks with Sean Bradley. Still fucks with James Colwell. Still fucks with Alexander Rogers. Try to remember just that one particular. Is this everybody? Um, the drama that's kicked off, and even outside of that, you know, I fucks with the Ghetto View, Life with Us TV, you know, like, or uh, Random TV reviews, like everybody that I fucked with before this, I still fuck with. Squeak, and if I didn't say Squeaky Jones, Squeaky Jones, and. The one that I will say, especially if any of them are watching, um, I'm probably going to talk to them. I'm probably going to talk to y'all within like the next week or two. But just with everything that's been going on, like I had distanced myself from everybody with family drama, health issues. I just kind of distanced myself because I don't want sympathy. I had like it's one thing that it's not not the word pity. I don't want pity. I understand sympathy. I understand empathy. I just didn't want pity, so I distanced myself from a lot of people. But it's one of those where even though people that I fuck with don't fuck with each other, I still fuck with each of them. And the only thing, and they all know my whole thing is whether or not you like the other person or not, do me a solid. Just don't talk about them. You, you know, when you're talking to me, it is what it is. But I mean, that is, that's it. So that's kind of it. You know, the year review is just a lot of shit has happened. Um, I've grown, um, I will say that, you know, I, I don't really put myself, I, it's one of those where if I have an issue, it's one of those where if I'm not going to bring it to that person, I'm not going to get on camera and I'm not going to sit here and I'm not going to talk about it there. And it's not the shit to do. Plus, hold up, all fucking topic, next fucking Friday, your boy turned 30. With all that being said, all the shit that has been happening, but trying to leave that shit over there, it is what it is. So, I'm done. I'm done. If y'all stuck out this video out to the end, I thank you so, so much.
Um, again, y'all let me know if y'all want me to go back and kind of uh, touch upon things, but that's all that I have. Um, I love all of you. I'm still working on other content for 2017. We're going to rock out with our cocks out for 2017. So I love all of you. I really do mean that for all my teaspoons and everything. I love you guys. Um, please uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys on the next video, which should theoretically be uh, Married to Medicine. Picking up, unless y'all want me to do the other videos. So, all right. I'll see you guys later. Peace.